In this video, I will show you how you can connect your Stripe Payment Gateway directly with MySQL database so that whenever the payment is done by customer in Stripe, the same customer will be added automatically to MySQL database table. So if you also want to sync your Stripe customers to MySQL database automatically and in real time, then come with me and I will show you everything step by step. Alright, so this is the dashboard of Stripe Payment Gateway and these are the tables of MySQL and I am going to update all the payment related details into this new payment table. And in order to automate this process, I'll have to connect Stripe and MySQL with the help of Pabli Connect, which is an amazing and a very cost effective integration and automation software. And here you can notice I'm an existing user of Pabli Connect, so I'm already logged in. You can also create your free account in Pabli Connect in just two minutes from this sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation now after reaching out to the dashboard of Pabli connect firstly click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i have provided the name as sync stripe customers with my sql table automatically because this process is actually automatic okay now simply click on create and after that you will find two boxes okay so these boxes are called as trigger and action okay and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever this happens then automatically do this so you will always have to select the applications in which you are building an automation understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application to your customer okay Okay. Now, according to our use case, I want that whenever any new payment is received in Stripe Payment Gateway application, then automatically add the customer details in my SQL database application. Okay, so that is why I'm selecting both the application in this trigger and the action window because I'm creating an automation in these two application only. Okay, and once you will select these application, now you will have to connect both the applications one by one with the public connect okay so let us connect the stripe with public connect so simply select the trigger even that is new charge new charge means whenever the credit card is charged okay so whenever customer will make a payment via credit card this automation will trigger or we can say that the data of customer will be fetched up via public connect okay so here you can notice a webhook url and few set of instructions are received here as soon as i have selected this trigger event okay so with the help of this url only we are going to build the connection okay so simply copy this webhook url then go back to your stripe payment gateway dashboard i am actually working into the testing mode okay directly clicking on developer section and here you will find an option of webhooks okay so here exactly in the webhook section only we are going to add an endpoint basically the same webhook url all right so this is the webhook option click on that and then click on this add endpoint point button and here exactly we will paste our webhook url in this end point url okay now it will ask you the event okay so simply select the same event which you have selected into public connect so let me search for the same that is charge succeeded occurs whenever a new charge is successful and i have already told you charge means credit card is charged whenever the payment is done by credit card okay so i have selected the same clicking on this add event button and finally clicking on this final add endpoint button and this is how the same webhook url will be added to public connect i'm sorry will be added to stripe payment gateway dashboard and here you can notice it is waiting for the events coming back to Pabli connect and here also you can notice that it is waiting for the webhook response so log into the application where you have added the webhook url and do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response okay so basically it is asking to do a test submission or record and here the test submission means making of a new payment in stripe okay so whenever the new charge or a new payment is done in stripe the details will be fetched up via 
Pabli Connect instantly and then further we are going to send the same details to my SQL. Okay, so let us make a dummy payment uh, in this Stripe Payment Gateway Dashboard. Okay, so these are the several products I have created. So how about I make a dummy payment of this particular product that is PHP course for beginners. Okay, let me open the view payment link and here you will notice multiple payments link. Okay, so I'm going to open one single payment link and we'll make a dummy payment from here using the test stripe payment guard details okay all right so adding a dummy email address something like demo at the rate pablitudes.com asking for the phone number so again i will add a dummy phone number only a 10 digit number asking for the card details so again i am going to use the test card details adding the random cvv as one two three the name on the card is demo customer and again it is a dummy name and let me also add the address something like okay so state will be madhya pradesh or I'm sorry for that Madhya Pradesh city will be let's say Bhopal adding a random pin number something like this and let me also add this address okay so I have provided all the important details which are actually required for making a successful payment and again this is just a dummy payment and as soon as the payment is successful here you will notice that those payment details will be captured via Pabli connect okay and here you can notice it is saying thanks for subscribing which means the payment is successful and as soon as the payment is successful the response is also received in Pabli Connect dashboard okay so now let me show you the details one by one here we have the type as charge succeeded we also have other details like the card okay payment type is card all right let me show you other details also so here we have the customer details okay I'm actually looking for the customer details all right so here we have the same dummy name dummy email address the state and here we have the pin code the city the country code so we also have the product price also but now you must be thinking we have made the payment of only 4999 okay why these extra two zeros are visible here basically it has ignored that decimal value it has been captured into the JSON format actually okay so don't worry we will simply divide this number with the hundred and this is how we will get the actual amount and again we are not going to do it manually we will do this with the help of automation only so i think we have captured all the important details and the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between stripe payment gateway and pabli connect is working absolutely fine okay and now i want to update all these details automatically and in real time in my sql okay so the application is already selected simply select the action even that is insert row now simply click on connect and just like we have connected stripe and pabli connect now i'm going to connect this my sql with the pabli connect okay so whenever you will connect my sql with the pabli connect it will ask you the database username the password host database and again the port okay so basically you'll have to provide all all the details okay i have already provided these details earlier okay so how about i use the existing connection and as soon as i click on that button you will notice that my sql account will be immediately connected with the pabli connect all right you can notice it is connected okay and now here you can notice it is asking me several details and because we are connected whatever the tables are actually available in my my sql account have started visible here okay so let me show you we have multiple tables okay so here we have new payments payment disputes stripe payment customers and task in asana and the same table name are visible here and i would like to update all the payment details in this new payment table okay so i have selected the same coming back to pabli connect and firstly i will select the table name as this that is new payments okay and as soon as i select the table name here whatever the columns are actually available inside my table will start visible here okay so here you can notice i have this id first name last name email mobile number city product price and product name so you will notice the same columns here as the fields let me show you 
आई डी फर्स्ट नेम लास्ट नेम ई मेल मोबाइल नंबर सिटी प्रोडक्ट प्राइस एंड प्रोडक्ट नेम ओके सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड द डिटेल्स हेयर वन बाय वन फर्स्ट लेट इज आस्किंग फॉर द आई डी विच आई एम गोइंग टू लीव ब्लैंक ओके बिकॉज दिस इज नॉट मैंडेटरी बेसिकली माई टेबल विल ऑटोमेटिकली जनरेट दिस वैल्यू आस्किंग फॉर द फर्स्ट नेम लास्ट नेम एंड ई मेल ओके सो रिमेंबर वी हैव जस्ट कैप्चर दीज डिटेल्स फ्रॉम आर प्रीवियस स्टेप इन टू आर प्रीवियस स्टेप एंड द इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग इज आई डोंट नीड टू manually copy these details and paste it here basically i am going to map these details and mapping is very simple inside pabli connect click on this field and you will find the above data here in the drop down okay so let me map the first name let me search for the first name all right so because in my payment page in my checkout page i have added the full name field instead of first name and last name individually so currently i only have the full name okay so how about i add the full name only in this first name but make sure if you have already added two fields two columns into your table you should add two separate fields either in your checkout page or you can do vice versa that if you have a single field only as the full name in that case make sure that you add the full name field only into your table column okay so don't worry about that currently we will go with the same value or how about i leave this second value blank okay now it is asking for the email address which was demo@pablitudes.com okay so i have searched for the same and mapped it okay and in the same way one by one i am going to map all other details now you must be thinking what is this mapping so whatever the details i am mapping here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time or in next time okay so currently i am actually searching for the phone number which i am not able to find in this date Okay, okay. so don't don't worry worry about about that. that. We will fetch the phone number here. Okay? Don't worry about that. Currently, I'm leaving again this field also blank, asking for the city. Okay, so as I have remember, it was either Bhopal. Okay, so yes, we have the city as Bhopal only. Again, I have mapped it. And as I was telling you that mapping plays a major role inside this automation because with the help of mapping only, this automation will take place automatically in real time. Okay, so what will happen with every new payment? These details will be replaced automatically. Yes, this existing data will be replaced automatically. Asking for the product price, okay, which was something like four nine nine. I remember, but remember that amount also captured two extra zeros. Okay, so how we can correct this amount? So before your Stripe step, you can add one more thing. Simply click on this plus icon. Actually, I'm sorry. Before your My SQL step, you'll have to click on this plus icon and search for the number formatter feature which is an amazing feature of pabli connect via which you can apply different kind of operations within your numbers okay so let me show you in the action event you can actually select this math operation okay where is math operation all right so here you can notice perform math operation simply click on connect and it will be connected immediately and now we will map the same price here it is asking for the number okay so let me map the same price which was 4999 with extra two zeros okay so enter comma separated values to perform the operation example this okay. so i would like to divide this number with 100 so that is why i will add a comma and will add 100 as value and in the operation i will select that i would like to divide these two number with each other okay clicking on save and this is how i will get the correct amount okay and if you are thinking that this process is actually manual no it will not happen in this way what will happen actually every time a new payment is received that amount will always be divided first with this 100 number and this is how you will get the correct number and then we are going to map this correct uh, price only here into the product price okay so let me show you all right that updated data is actually not visible here so how about i click on this refresh field so i can access that new data that fresh data okay so the fields has been refreshed coming here once again and searching for the 
recent data and here we have the recent data the recent price and finally it is asking for the product name so as far as i remember i have not seen any product name name in this particular data okay so again i am going to fetch the product name also uh, by applying one more step in this automation okay so before your my sql step you can do one more thing simply click on this plus icon and again connect the stripe payment gateway with the pabli connect okay all right so let me search for stripe once again now in the action event this time i will search for retrieve okay basically i would like to retrieve the payment details so i am searching for the same action event that is retrieve a payment intent basically i am going to retrieve the payment related information and i am really expecting that in that payment information i will actually receive the product name also okay so again i'll go with the existing connection only and then clicking on save and this is how stripe will be connected with the pabli connect once again okay and here you can notice it is asking for the payment intent id okay so let me show you in this particular response we have actually received the payment intent id okay so how about i directly search for the same and here you can notice we have this payment intent id which i am going to map here and here we have that id now clicking on this button save and send test request and waiting for the response and in that response i am really expecting that product name okay so here we have the same amount all right we have several other details even the customer details also okay where is that product name and yes here you can notice we have the same product name that is php course for beginners well the product name is actually not correct instead of or it should be for beginners but because in my checkout page only the product name was not correct so that is why it has fetched the same the exact product name all right so we have all the details and now i am going to successfully map this product name also in this particular field and again you can see because we have added one more step we will have to click on this refresh field so that the data will be added automatically and so that we can access the fresh data also here for the mapping purpose all right so the fields have been refreshed clicking on this particular field and here you can notice we have the recent data let me search for the product name also and i think i have mapped all the important data clicking on this button save and send test request and waiting for the response to receive and if in my response i will receive the status as success that means the data has been updated into my my sql table okay let let me refresh it and here you can notice the same customer with the same name with same email address with the same city same product price and the same product name has been updated automatically into our my sql database table okay so in this way you can sync your stripe customers directly with my sql database in real time and for that you need to set this automation inside pabli connect for once after that you can sit back and relax because pabli connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end you do not have to do anything manually okay and just in case if you want to access this four step automation inside your pabli connect account i will also attach the link of this workflow into my youtube video description box okay so simply click on that link and then sign up into the pabli connect for free and then you will be easily able to access the same workflow inside your own pabli connect account that to for free Not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formgate.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video